Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch a Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm going to show you from our new mini catalog that just started in January, um, the 2022 mini catalog. So I'm going to open up this great suite. It's called To New Horizons Suite. And the cool thing about this I love are there are so many landscaped ideas in this new mini catalog. So it can mix and match with so many different sets. So this is the six by six paper that comes with this suite. And I'm telling you, I just love it. It's just amazing. It's got gorgeous sunsets, little landscapes, seascapes. I mean, you can use it for so many. And the cool thing is on the background, you can use a, the solid color of it, and it's just beautiful. So it's like the watercolor effect. And let me show you this one right here. It's just a couple pages from that. It's called Grassy Grove. It's also shown here with some of those scapes. And so there are endless possibilities you can use with this. Also, just taking scraps, save your scraps. I save my scraps, and you can make cards with just strips. So I'm going to show you some of that. Here is the stamp set for that suite, and I like that it's got these sayings, relax, enjoy your day. And you're going to see some celebration ones I used with this suite also. So remember, if you purchase $50, you get a free stamp set or selection from the celebration. And so there's just many options. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to take this six by six. This particular scape I love because it's just beautiful, the colors in it. And I'm going to go ahead and trim it down to the four and a quarter by five and a half. And so I've already done that. So I'm taking it from this. And if you notice what I'm wearing, I didn't even notice it, but it's evening evergreen. Perfect for the video. So there is that scape. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these, they're called water painters, and there's three of them in a case. They have all different sizes to use of the actual water painter. But I'm going to use the smallest one today. And what I'm going to do is just take this scape, and I'm going to kind of put it right over because I kind of want to copy what's there. So I'm going to look at this one that's already been done. And with the Evening Evergreen and the Old Olive, I'm going to create a scape to match the scape. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with, I'm just going to go ahead and use this right now, is the greenery to kind of match in with it. So I'm going to start on this side, and then I'm going to come over a little bit more. And I'm going to move this so I don't overstamp onto it again. Okay, so there that is. And then I'm going to take my water painter. And I mean, it, this has a little thing right here. It says push. So you can push it to actually bring the water down to the edge of your painter. And to get the color, you, there's a couple different ways you can do it. But I usually just press it down like this and then open it up again. And <laughs> there we go. There's enough right there. So I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to go right over the stamped part with my painter and kind of just blend it in. So I want it darker on the actual. So I'm grabbing it from the thing and I want it dark right here. So I'm just taking solid color and making it dark right here. And then I'm letting it, I'm going to push it right here because I'm just kind of want to blend it down. Just let it flow with a lot of water and just let it go. Okay. Now these, these I'm just going to wisp with the actual aqua painter. Just going down like that. It doesn't really matter. Back and forth. It's just, you can be messy with this. You're just kind of just getting that watercolor look. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to look at this a little bit. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put some evening evergreen in here just because I think it's cool to have a little bit in the grass. And we're 
kind of copying, but not, you know, let me put a little bit of this off if I don't want it too much. And you just add this other color and it just makes, look how it gives that, that depth and dimension. And just adding a little bit of that evening evergreen in there. And I'm just, you don't have to be perfect. Remember that's kind of, you don't want to be perfect. Okay, it kind of matches that same color scheme. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the card again, and I'm going to go ahead and match that up a little bit. Now I want to go ahead and take this, and we've got some of that on there, but I'm going to take the old olive, and I'm going to go like this, just pretending that I'm kind of doing the exact thing. And then because this kind of has these little wisps of greenery, I'm going to copy that. Looks like I'm running out of some old olive there. And if you notice, it's got kind of, I'm going to go ahead and kind of blend this a little bit up here. And let me move that and then take some of this and just make it blend in there. And it doesn't, it, you can just mix, mix it, okay? So that kind of looks like that spot. And let's take some of this. So I'm just really using the two colors because that's the way that they did it, too. And this is pretty dry right now, but I'm going to go ahead and push this and get a lot more of that out there, the greenery. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some old olive to that, too. Okay, so there we go. We've got our look right there. And let's say if we want some more, we could add some more color in here if you want some darker. Let's add a little bit more of evening evergreen in here. But this is what I like about just kind of doing it messy is, you know, you can decide how you want it to look. Because watercolor is kind of messy. Okay, and the other one that I did, it might be totally different from this. So that is the piece that I've done. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same that I'm going to do. Because this is watercolor paper, I want to go ahead and put it right up at this one spot. So I'm actually going to use the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is a great tool because if you want to stamp something in an exact place, you can. And I'm going to take my stamp... Um, right here that comes with this suite and I'm going to go ahead and place it where I want it. And the reason why I'm using a Stamparatus is because with watercolor paper there's little ridges in it. And let's say I stamp it and it's not dark enough and I want to stamp it again. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down to the stamp and it will pick it up and it will be exactly in the spot that I want it to be in. So I'm going to go ahead and ink it up with the Evening Evergreen. And I like to like hold this up just a little bit so it gets the ink. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and turn that around and push on it with my fingers. So it's like, oh, see, look, it's pretty light. So what do I want to do? I want to put some more ink on this and it will stay in the exact same place that I put it. So then it will become darker the next time. And you push down to get that ink on the paper. See? And you could do it one more time. Let's do it another time because I think the A, because of those ridges in the paper. And I'm just going to make sure I press down with the A right there. See? That creates a really dark image. That's what the Stamparatus is for. I love how if you want to get something, and you can do multiples that way. So I'm taking the Evening Evergreen, and I'm going to go ahead and put the adhesive on this. And then I'm just creating a frame around this beautiful watercolor look that I did. And you looked at it, and remember, it's not, like, perfect. But look how cool it looks on this. And I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals. And it will look awesome 
kind of um, give a little dimension to your project, but also it's separating your artwork from the artwork that's done on the paper. You can add ribbon if you want to, but it's really just beautiful the way it is, the natural way. Okay, see where that line is? That's where I'm going to put it. And there, wishing you so much happiness. Let me show you the one I first did. And see, everyone is going to come out differently because I did the background here. So it's just amazing how each one of them looks different. And this one I did with the Stamparatus. Look how nice that looks compared to this one was a little bit too too light. So remember when you're working with watercolor paper, it's always fun to use the Stamparatus to get the brighter look of your stamping. Let me show you some other ideas that I've done with this stamp set and the paper. Okay, this one is the Relax, Enjoy Your Day, and it comes with a bunch of cool dies. And I love this die right here, the fence. And so cool. And that paper, you don't have to do much to. Okay, this paper, we thought that this would look good like water. And you just tear the paper, and it, it, it looks like waves. All right. This one was fun. We just, same thing. We tore the paper, and it looks like a beautiful sky. These little accessories, these stones, come with this suite also. And if you do a two-tone, you do a lighter gray and a black, that makes it fun too. This is the strips I was telling you about, and this is just an all-occasion stamp set. It's called Slim Sayings, and that is one of the sayings that comes with it. And this is it's fun to be able to take this and do your envelopes. Look how cool that looks. Now, these are some of the dies that I cut out, and you can make the snow on them like that. This is a cute, just a card to say you're amazing. That's one of the new celebration ones with the $100 order. I love it. And this is just the paper, the back side of the paper and the front side of the paper. And that's one of those slim sayings also. And there, just another way to do it. But I love this DSP and the sweet. Everything goes together. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can comment below and we'd be happy to send you a new catalog with our wonderful products. And ho hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and we'll see you next time on Watch a Weekly Wednesday.